Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the first Sky Report of 2024, January. My name is Vanessa, and as usual, I will be your Sky Guide again this month. The quadranted meteor shower peaks on the evening of January 3rd and early in the morning of January 4th. In ideal conditions, this meteor shower can bring about 80 meteors per hour. This year, a 46% waning crescent moon will interrupt viewing during the peak. The radiant point is also fairly low in the sky at the peak hour, so expect to see fewer than 80 meteors per hour. It could still be a very exciting meteor shower if you make your way to a dark sky site. Before sunrise on January 8th, the moon, Mercury, and Venus will all be close together and visible in the southeastern sky, leading the sun. The moon will also be very close to the bright star Antares, the heart of the constellation Scorpius the Scorpion. Wake up before sunrise to catch this sight. On the same morning, the planet Mercury reaches its highest altitude for this hour. It will be just over 7 degrees above the horizon at 6 a.m. and rise to about 12 degrees above by 6.30 a.m. After that time, it may start to get more difficult to see due to the sunrise. On January 12th, Mercury reaches its greatest elongation on the morning side. This means that Mercury will turn around and begin its journey back in towards the sun after this day. This also means that, from our perspective here on Earth, Mercury is at its farthest point from the Sun. Here you can also see where Venus is in the sky. Venus is also beginning to make its way back in towards the Sun from our perspective here on Earth. It now rises later than it did in previous months, at about 4.30 a.m. on January 12th. It will travel behind the Sun from our perspective and emerge again as the evening star in a few months. Throughout the month, we will see these constellations high in the sky. Here they are at 10 p.m. midway through the month on the 15th. To the south, we have some famous winter constellations. Orion, Taurus, Canis Major, Canis Minor, Gemini, Cancer, and many others. Along with those bright constellations, we can see some of their bright stars that we also enjoyed last month. Castor, Pollux, Procyon, Betelgeuse, Aldebaran, Sirius, and Rigel. Facing north at that same time, we have the constellations Perseus, Auriga, Andromeda, Cassiopeia, Pegasus, Cepheus, Ursa Minor, Ursa Major, and Leo. And the brightest stars in those northern constellations are Capella, Polaris, and Regulus. Jupiter now sets earlier in the evening in the western sky. On the 15th, it sets a little bit after 1 a.m. and will continue to set earlier throughout the month. Saturn also sets even earlier, setting at about 8 p.m. on the 15th, and seen here hanging low in the sky at 7 p.m. On the 18th, the Moon and Jupiter will be less than 5 degrees apart from each other. This is not close enough to be seen together in a telescope, but it's a great sight for naked eye observations. And here is your first lunar calendar of the new year. Last quarter is on January 3rd, New Moon is on January 11th, First Quarter is on January 17th, and the Full Moon is on January 25th. That's all we have for January, so I'll see you again next month. Bye!